you got the keys to your new place. But now what? These are the things that you wanna clean and or replace before you move in. Now, personally, there's two things that I'm gonna start with before anything else, and that's light switches and handles, because, I mean, you, you get it. And again, I'm gonna be extra. I noticed that there's some paint or joint compound or something on this light switch, so I'm going in with a scraper and getting that up first. And third is the bathroom, or shall I say at least the toilet in the sink, which I'm sure you've guessed is for obvious reasons. Because while you're deep cleaning for potentially hours, you're gonna need a bathroom break. And for the most part, this is gonna be pretty simple because all you really need is your all-purpose cleaner or disinfectant. But if you have any heavy-duty stains, then you might wanna pull out a steamer. Or in this case, I'm gonna use a melamine sponge. Just keep in mind what I said before. It is safe on plastic, but anything with a really super high gloss shine, no. And since you asked the ingredients or products that I use, it's pretty much all the things that you've seen me use thus far. I also use peroxide, um, oxygen powder, and alcohol. I do still buy some products sometimes. I just have always hated the fact that it costs a lot of money to buy several different types of household cleaners, so I generally use Castile. That though, I'm never just wiping it off with a rag. I'm actually really going in and agitating it because that is how soap works. You need to scrub. But as a disinfectant, I'll also use 70% alcohol diluted with warm water and essential oil for fragrance if I want it. If you are using store-bought products, don't forget to read. Because most of them, you might need to apply, but leave it on for up to 10 minutes before you wipe it. For actually cleaning like inside the bowl, you know, my favorite like sponge alternative is uh, coconut husk. And that is what these little scrubbing pads are made of. I find this to be like a much better alternative to the store-bought version. I like to reduce my single use of things as much as possible, but because it is a byproduct of the coconut industry, this is a material that would have been otherwise discarded anyway. It's just making additional use, but is biodegradable. And you'll notice that I'm cleaning my toilet from the inside out, and that's because you saw me pour water into it to fully clean the entire bowl because then the water is low enough for you to get all the porcelain. And that's another reason why I start with the toilet first, because any back spray that gets on the rest of the bathroom, the damage is done and then I can clean afterwards. In my first move-in video, I also replaced the toilet seat because uh -uh, I feel like the landlord should just already do this. Actually, that's number one. Before you even sign a lease, look up any landlord tenant laws in your state because that can vary a lot. Because like in Philly, for example, um, a landlord is not obligated to paint in between tenants. So even though it is something you would just expect as like good practice, not everyone does it because they're not required to. Now, in general, you want to be working from top to bottom because gravity. If you go in that sequence, everything from above will fall. And since you haven't gotten to that surface yet, you're not making more of a mess that you're going to have to re-clean later. So for me, that means I'm going to be cleaning my vents first. And it was at about this point that I realized, girl, what is you doing? Like, you literally have a whole vacuum. I will get something new and then just let it sit in the box for like days, if not weeks. I'm struggling to even describe it, but it's like buying it was peak dopamine and now waiting for it in the mail, you have to like wait for the excitement or a burst of inspiration to actually interact with it. And this is just the bare minimum because what you really want to do is call your landlord or put in a maintenance request to change the filter in your HVAC system. And you're not going to believe the results. Or actually, at this point, I'm sure you definitely would because after how I was cleaning in the last video, the worst is to be expected. Is it overkill? Maybe. But depending on the place that you have, this might be absolutely necessary. You can clean the walls. The reason you might want to do this is if your place has sat vacant for a bit of time. Really though, I'm doing this as a cleanup because I do intend to paint. This is helping me clean up any dust before I do that.
the next highest surface is the tops of my kitchen cabinets. That you saw me do in a previous video, but here's a recap. When I was younger, you said I want to be a good father. Hold up, wait a minute, who taught you? White friends saying they ain't seen black dads. Last week they seen plant sauces. I ain't really got too much to offer. My perspective, I'm selective with the method. I'm directed with the message. Most couldn't mess with. Trying to break a record with the people that I mess with. That's ballers. I ain't got no time. And then naturally, you can clean the top cabinets as well. Now that you've worked your way down, you can work on appliances and any like mid-level surfaces. Things like countertops and any built-in units that are in maybe your wardrobe. And that I've already covered in part one, so I'll have it linked in the description box and it's also popping up on the screen right now. And that'll walk you through uh, things like your oven, dishwasher, garbage disposal. One thing I didn't show you was the refrigerator and the freezer. But something to keep in mind for that is if you do have like a water dispenser or ice maker, do check to make sure that you don't have a filter that you need to change. Sometimes it get hard to show it. Okay. If not, they will never know it. Hold up. Wait, uh. Rolling in a recreational vehicle. Dang, my job is a miracle. Dang, my job is a blessing. How could I not be spiritual? I been talking to the Father. Here's some walking on the water. Holy Spirit be the GPS. Tell my sons and my daughter. Walking hand to hand with my wifey. Dang, the new rank is looking so icy. Dang, the new flex is communication. Dang, the new sex got no hesitation. It's about the journey, not the destination. Guess I'm about to stress my patience. Honestly, I want to have a conversation with all the people that helped me become a good mom. Uh, good fathers, good moms, good sons. Yeah, uh, good daughters, good God, loved ones. Yeah, uh, sometimes it get hard to show it. Okay, if not, they will never know. Just like in the kitchen, I had mineral buildup on the faucet. If it's not too bad, you can get away with a weak acid like citric acid or vinegar. But if it's really built up, just go for the CLR. And by the way, anything that I'm using, cleaners, tools, ingredients, all that. I'd like to have everything just like in one place on the blog, but currently it is under construction. I think it needs a revamp. So you can find everything in the description box instead of the website, which by the way, is very easy to do. You can either drag everything to this portion of like your menu, which will make it invisible. You can leave some stuff and not others. You can create an entirely new page, like a cover page or landing page that says coming soon or under construction or literally not make the page public at all and keep it under password. So again, usability, easy to navigate as usual. If you're a creator wanting to run a blog, create an online shop, or just have a portfolio on the internet, you can run any type of platform with Squarespace and run a newsletter and use their bio sites to link all of your social media channels. So you've got options and you can get a discount with my code ABETWEENE or just head to squarespace.com backslash ABETWEENE.
Now, this is another one of those things that is absolutely not your problem because it's the landlord's responsibility to maintain and upkeep property. However, you as the tenant do need to make them aware. Once they're on notice, they have to address it. This just so happens to be one of those things that I'm so used to doing that it would be faster for me to do it myself and also would ensure that it's done properly because I've had maintenance do like the sloppiest job possible so that they can just move on. Literally just slap it on, spray it with some soapy water and then wipe it with their finger. And any excess, they just don't really care how it looks. Well, I do because it will be with an eye shot of me while I take a bath. So again, I'm doing this myself. However, remember you don't have to. Grout is one of those things that has to be resealed, but unfortunately, a lot of owners are absentee landlords. So they're not always fully aware of what's going on in their property because they literally live in another state or have someone else manage it who could probably be doing a better job. So this will keep moisture from getting in and causing any water damage, which they definitely don't want. So really, I'm doing them a favor. So if you feel the same, what you can do is just kind of mention you taking care of it yourself and see if they will give you some type of concession on rent to compensate you and also save them the money of not having to hire someone. Continue to work our way down, now we're at the baseboards. We go in with a cleanser, or in my case, if you have any dust from filling holes and sanding, then you can of course vacuum as well. When it comes to the floors, I love my wet vac because you can do both vacuuming and mopping at the same time. And I feel like it's more effective because it's actually suctioning the water off of the floors so you're not just pushing around dirty mop water. And you dock it to the charging station where it will self-clean the roller uh, debris channel. However, it does require more cleaning than that. Doesn't really bother me though. I still find it less labor intensive than mopping. The only con, and that's actually just specific to this model, is that the roller doesn't reach all the way to the edge. So I would love to upgrade, but this one still works and these ain't cheap. So I would just continue to be grateful.
And if you have carpet, then of course, you're gonna do a really good deep clean. And the way that you do that is vacuuming at a really slow pace. This just gives the suction more time to get farther down. Again, this is from a previous video, so if you wanna see the full thing, I'll put it up on the screen and put it in the description box. And as an alternative to the wet vac, of course, you can do a traditional mop. And for floor tiles especially, I love to do the squeegee method because obviously with hardwood, you don't want to oversaturate the floors, even if they're engineered. I recommend the Muji system because it has lots of interchangeable pieces to accommodate different areas and different cleaning styles. But despite all of the things I've tried, even steam, I have not been able to change the color of the grout. Even though I technically planned to change the color with one of those pins, I thought I'd at least give it a try. And you'll notice that immediately it kind of looks like there is a difference, but I was skeptical that it was just the baking soda and it was, but I still wasn't entirely sure if it was making a difference. So I said, we gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and I did half of the floor. And to make cleanup easier, I used the wet vac, which as you can see, the ring on the screen is now red. That's because it actually auto detects when there is more of a mess to clean up. And afterwards, there was no denying it because not only did it clearly lighten the grout, because this is completely dry at this point. Also, it seems to have taken a lot of artifact off of the tile. Like something told me that those little gray areas were not actually part of the marble. And I was correct. Even though I only focused on the grout, it seems that the residual has picked up on those areas and this was the second most asked question which is how do i clean these rags because it is bold to be using white and technically i don't do anything special i just use oxy powder which believe it or not is kind of sort of like a solid version of hydrogen peroxide but if you don't like this music then don't be listening to it you know i'm just a dude that you know or something similar if you don't keep it real can you go somewhere but here because you know we're only losing control uh, uh, i say if you don't like this music you don't be listening to it you know i'm just a dude that you know or something similar if you don't keep it real can you go somewhere but here because you know we're only losing control just for a minute oh, oh. So this is a recap of everything that we've done. Full-time artist on tour, keep it real, no secret. I wanted to get home to my own Mona Lisa. What's the point of seeing Caesar if you lose such a Jesus? There, I pledge my allegiance. I stumbled in the great...